we've got a, a whole IT infrastructure that means that um, we can instantly talk to all of our tailors. Um, maybe we've got a we hotline can, over there. Yeah, yeah, we have. We've got a hotline over there. Yeah. It means we can track individual orders. Um, and I think communication is absolutely key when you're when you're doing that kind of offshore a- arrangement. The way we attract and retain the very best tailors in Nepal is that we pay 50% over the over the local rate. Um, so that sort of makes sure that they're going to stay because uh, they're getting a very good deal and we treat them really, really well. It also means that we can really be quite demanding about the quality that, that uh, our customers expect. Quality-wise, we have, we have now, we have to employ um, actually a whole quality checking team. So every, every one of our suits will go through a series of checks and we, these, these checks are improved constantly, as is everything in our process. So different things are adding depending on different issues that we've had and it's just a whole um, whole feedback loop essentially that, that, that makes sure the quality is, uh, is always as, as good as it can possibly be. The suit that fits family is very, very important to us and part of that family is actually the school where I was volunteering originally introduced me to that first family of tailors. Um, so what we've, what we've actually done, we've created a whole kind of virtuous circle because they, they provide us with uh, some great managers. In fact, our top manager is, is uh, directly linked to the school. And we actually donate 5% of our costs, on top of our costs in Nepal, uh, back to the school. We've just recently um, furnished a, a science lab and completely kitted it out. I think the next project is a computer lab, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, and I think um, when, you, when you go to see our tailors and you go and see, uh, see, see Nepal, um, you're quite taken back by the, the whole school, so it makes it pretty, um, pretty you know, irresistible to, to make sure we're doing some, something really great for them. Uh, we get about a quarter of our orders coming in online. Um, and then on top of that, we get our, our reorders as well. Um, so it's, it's, it's a sizable percentage, but I think a lot of people actually, that's why we started opening all these, all these branches up and down the country. A lot of people like to have that personal service that first time just to know that, yeah, it's going to be good. And uh, I think that's, that's what we're really focusing on so that people can feel comfortable with their profile once they've got it online and then they can just reorder from the comfort of their own home very easily because we send out fabric samples and everything like that. I well, think people really want to go in store at least for that for that first for that first time. But we are we've got a lot of developments in the pipeline for the website as well. Is how we really try and stay ahead of the game to be the most innovative tailor on the web. Um, it's really it's it's that that that's that part of the business that reordering part, and making that making our website super easy to use. Uh, that's that's a big part of. Uh, moving forward in 2009 for us. And also, we're, we're a very fun company. We like to be fun with the suits. Mm. Um, people have a lot of fun at home designing their suits. Uh, so, um, so we never want to, in fact, we want to keep having fun, keep having more fun. Our existing customers, our new customers, just keep playing around with their suits. Um, different people create different styles and we learn from them. We need to make sure that we're constantly ahead of everyone. We've always been ahead of people. We've got different ideas mm. that what you see on our website is, um, is only what we've already created. The idea is that we're creating in the background are the most exciting yeah, ones most that we're really passionate time. about. Um, so, uh, so once we have once we have those ones, and we keep keep, we want to be the people where um, if you want the most innovative kind of suiting solution, you would come to us. Um, and uh, and so, so it, it's it falls on, on those. We've got quite a heavy burden to keep carrying on and making sure that we are ahead of the game, which is great. I think it's we've seen we've seen a, we've seen a lot of people sort of copy the style of, of what we do since we started three years ago. And uh, good luck to them. It's a it's a difficult business to be in, and but what we what we really see as our as our competition is the likes of uh, Marks and Spencer and Ted Baker and Burtons and uh, the really big guys because I mean the price of our suits is the same as off the peg, so that's where we're really taking the the business from. So I, I see that our competitors sort of driving forward our mo- our model for our you know the the, the online tailors, and they're sort of championing the cause. Well, that's that's fine because we're actually better value than all of them as well. So, <laughs> for growth for for my point of view, I'm looking at it as developing the website into something really fun, really special, mm. um, and and keeping everyone informed about the the latest suit trends, um, making sure that everyone every time anyone needs anything about suits, we're the people they go to, um, and I think I think based on that, the the um, the actual business would it would increase based on that desire to to get it absolutely right for customers. I think that's, that's a really important thing actually, actually having an underlying desire just to do something for the customers, not necessarily to make money, 
but to actually help someone with a real with a real need now real passion lies with making people look amazing